Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Catherine and today we are talking about one of my favorite places on earth, Sephora. The Sephora holiday sale is just about to start. Um, I'm filming this the day before it starts for the Rouge tier. Um, and there are three tiers that you need to know about. First of all, there's Rouge, which is the highest, and that's the people who spent the most money, me. Um, secondly, you have the VIB, and that's one down. And then lastly is the Beauty Insider. When you sign up and it's free, you automatically are a Beauty Insider, and it doesn't cost you anything, like I said, and you will automatically get this the discount. So for, VIB, for Rouge members, you will get 20% off for the longer part of the sale. You will start the sale early all the way to the end. And for VIB, you will have 15%. And for Insider, Beauty Insider, you get 10%. I'll have all the details linked in my description box just in case you need to know. So what I thought I would do today is just go through some of my favorite products at Sephora. And boy, this video could be incredibly long. So I am limiting myself a little bit. I have all the, a lot of the products are all on my face today. And I'm just gonna kind of go through some of my very favorite in each category. Today, I'm just gonna cover makeup. I might come back and do a skincare video exclusively with a little bit of hair care. But for right now, we're just gonna do makeup. Starting off with primer, the one I use today is the Ole Henriksen. This is the Banana Bright Face Primer. I have dry skin, so I will just tell you that I don't really think that much about primers because I don't have a problem with makeup kind of coming off of my face because of having oily skin. So my dry skin is um, really just needs some extra hydration and I use very good skincare. So a lot of times I don't feel like a primer is that necessary for me, but I really do like this one. It is brightening on the skin. It has a pump. It has a really nice experience. This is $38. It has vitamin C in it and it, it is supposed to help to extend your makeup wear time and it is for all skin types. Another one that I like a lot for drier skin, again, is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is just a great overall moisturizer. You can see I've used a lot of it. Has, again, both of these have kind of a citrusy smell. Um, this is $62. It has vitamins B, C, and E. It has a light scent of grapefruit, which I really do enjoy. And it is for all skin types. So those would be two primers that I would recommend. I'm only gonna recommend two of my favorite foundations. The one I'm wearing today is the Armani Luminous Silk. This is $64. It is a medium coverage. It is a satin finish, so it's not too glowy, you can see, but it just gives you a really nice kind of a dewy look, but not too dewy. Um, it is buildable and it is oil free. I love this. This is one of my very favorite, favorite foundations. Another one of my favorites is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. Again, very similar demi matte finish for all skin types. It is medium coverage and it is buildable. This one is $44. Also, quick reminder, everything will be listed in the description box below. Okay, so let's move on to concealers. I could go on and on about concealers, but we're gonna talk, talk about two of my favorites. The first one is the Laura Mercier. This is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. It is $29, medium to full coverage, very hydrating. That's what I have on underneath my eyes right now and it has 12 hour creaseless wear. It is really a nice, nice concealer. Every time I recommend this to somebody, they, come, they comment back to me and say they love it. So it's a good one. Another more kind of multi-purpose kind of um, concealer is from Too Faced. It's the Born This Way Multi-Purpose Super Coverage Concealer. This one has, um, it's a, you get a lot of product in this. There are tons of shades in this. There's 35 shades. It is a hydrating formula. It's, it can conceal, it can highlight, and you could get a darker shade and contour and retouch. It's for all skin types and it has full coverage. So this is a really nice one, especially if you don't really enjoy wearing foundation. This is great at covering any spots that you want covered. 
So I really do like that one from Too Faced as well. Okay, let's talk about powders. So for loose powders, the first one I wanna talk about is from Hourglass. It is their Veil um, Translucent Powder. It is $46. It is, comes in a nice, um, you can see, you just kind of put just the smallest amount out. That's one of the features I really love is this little top is great. It's ultra refined. It does have some light reflecting particles in it. It's what I'm wearing today, kind of all over my face. It is really super nice at and for all skin types, and it just doesn't leave any type of cakiness or any type of powderiness, which I love. Another one that I wanna talk about that I've talked about before on my channel, I love the Laura Mercier, the regular powder, but this one is the Glow powder. And you just want to be very light-handed with this, but this really gives you such a beautiful glow on your face. Very, very youthful and very pretty for setting your makeup. Um, it also sets the makeup for up to 12 hours, and it has pearl pigments in it. That's what gives it the glow. So it is really a nice, nice powder. Um, it is $39 for that large size. Okay, some finishing powders just to buff your makeup in, one from Hourglass, and you will see there are certain companies that I just love. I love Hourglass and I love Charlotte Tilbury, and you're gonna probably hear a lot about them in this. Um, but the Hourglass, sorry, this is the Ambient Lighting Powder. This is what it looks like. This one is in dim light. Um, it is $48. It is a finishing powder and it's used to buff your makeup and make sure you have taken care of any fine lines that you might have from your contour or your bronzer or your blush or your highlight. Um, it diffuses and softens your skin and it reflects light to give you kind of an airbrushed effect. I really, really love this powder and use it all the time. Um, another really great powder from Charlotte Tilbury is their Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. This is an ultra fine powder. It doesn't have the light reflecting that the hourglass does. You can see it's kind of, it's very finely milled, but it's more mattifying. It takes any shine away, which is really, really nice. Um, it blurs any imperfection and reduces shine and it's a medium coverage. And as you can see, I've already hit pan on it. This is a great powder, really good for setting under your eyes as well. Okay, bronzer. I could go on and on and on and on and on about bronzer, but um, I'm gonna talk about two. The first one is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is a similar powder formula to their Airbrush Flawless. This is called the Airbrush Matte Bronzer. You get, this is a huge, I mean, huge pan. I mean, compared, huge amount of bronzer. I just can't imagine. It is $55, it's expensive. You can get refills too, so you don't have to replace this compact. Um, it is a matte bronzer. It is, it blends beautifully. I will say one thing, and I'm not usually somebody who likes to do this, but the brush that you can get to go with this, it's a, you know, retractable uh, kabuki brush. It really does work well at blending this all in and not having any fine lines. I really do love this brush. Um, I don't remember how much the brush is, but I'll link it down below. Um, this is a gorgeous bronzer. Again, hydrating, finely milled, blends like a dream. I believe there's only four shades. I am normally in the lightest shade of any bronzer and I'm actually in two. The lightest one of this I think is for incredibly fair skin. So just FYI, I'm in shade two. Okay, the next is from Fenty. I love their Sun Stalker bronzers. This is a beautiful powder bronzer. It is long wear, transfer resistant, smooth and creamy, and incredibly easy to blend. I am very soon gonna be hitting pan on this, which is incredible because I have so many bronzers. I reach for this all the time. It's just the easiest. That's what I have on today. It is the easiest to use. It is smooth, again, creamy, blendable, perfection. And I want to talk about contour and talk about Fenty again because this duo together is a dream to me. This is a cream contour. This is their um, in their cream bronzer, cheeks out bronzer. And this is in the shade amber. It's gray and it's perfect for doing a little light sculpting on your face. 
and then I pair it with the powder bronzer and it to me is just perfection. That's what I have on today. I love it. The, um, the bronzer, the powder bronzer is $30 and the Cheeks Out cream bronzer is $32. Excellent, excellent products. Okay, a side note really quick, um, and I don't have the exact price of this. I did wanna talk about a fa one face palette that I've talked about before. This is the Hourglass, this is their newest. It is limited edition, so it will, won't be here forever. You get a bronzer, you get a powder, you get a highlight, and you get a blush, and this is just a beautiful compact. It's in the $50 range. I love this, it is so great for travel, and all of these shades are wonderful, and I think they would look good on lots of different skin types. I am using the heck out of this. You can use this, these two or this one, these two for your eyes as well and you've got a quick eye look. This is a wonderful face palette and I believe it's called the Sculpture Palette. Yeah, it's Ambient Sculpture Palette. So I wanted to give a little plug for that one as well. Blush, again, we could be here all day on blush, but today we're gonna talk about two formulas. The one I'm wearing today is the NARS. NARS has a beautiful formula for blush, just gorgeous. I have lots of their of the colors. I am, the one I use today is called Tempted. It's kind of a peach with a little bit of a light shimmer. It's really, really pretty and I just love this one. Um, of course, Orgasm is their most famous and it's beautiful too. This one I love in the winter, it's called Sin and it is just kind of a plummy, again, with a little bit of shimmer. Um, another very popular color, and I have it in a mini, is Dolce Vita. And uh, NARS always has a lot of little minis of their blushes too, which I, I like. The NARS blushes are just a wonderful formula. Um, these bigger sizes are all $30. I'm not sure about what the minis are. They usually come in a set with like a lipstick or a lip balm or something. The formula is just amazing. It blends beautifully into your skin. The colors are great. I just, if somebody is gonna go and they need to get a blush, I think you cannot go wrong with the NARS formula and you will find a color that you will like. So I love these blushes. My newest love and passion though for blush though is Mr. Patrick Ta. These blushes with the cream on the bottom and the little case that covers it up and the powder on the top are unbelievable. $34, they're called the um, Major Beauty Headlines Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. Two complementary formulas and colors, they are pigmented, they are blendable, they are long wearing and they are gorgeous. I love, I think there's four shades. I have, this is She's So LA, which has just become probably one of my favorite blushes of all time. It, looks really, really dark brown in here, but it has a little bit of a rose um, effect on your skin. It's just, it's just gorgeous. I just love it. And I also have the pink one as well, and I can't remember what the name of that one is. You cannot go wrong. These are gorgeous. If you are looking for a new blush, try the Patrick Ta formula, amazing. Okay, highlight. Um, love highlight. Today I have on one of my favorites from Charlotte Tilbury. This is her um, beauty highlighter wand and it literally comes with a little squeezy kind of um, you know sponge top. It is so easy to apply. You can see that light on the side of my cheek. It is so simple and easy to apply. You can use a brush, you can use a sponge, you can use your fingers. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is in the shade Spotlight. These are $38 and they really will last you a long time. The other one I'm gonna um, share with you is from Hourglass and this is their highlighter stick. Again, so easy to apply. Fingers, brush, or sponge and it just gives you a gorgeous, gorgeous, very subtle lit from within look. Love it, love it. Um, and it, I'll have it down below, but I believe it's in the $40 range for this one. Okay, eyeshadow, let's talk about it. Um, really, if you're going to have a discount and you want to have something really, really special for eyeshadow, I would recommend Natasha Denona. Um, these palettes are amazing. I love her smaller palettes. This one is the bronze palette, which I got this summer. And it's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. These are incredible. The, the formula of these eyeshadows is incredible. Buttery, 
pigmented, easy to blend, so fun to play with. Um, love the mirror that you get and it's just perfection. Then I just recently picked up her Glam palette, which is the cooler version of that bronze palette. So if you like cooler colors, taupes and grays, there's some great champagnes, beautiful colors in this. This would be a great one for you to pick up. These are regularly $65, so having the discount is really nice. The other eyeshadow I want to talk to you about is from Fenty Beauty. These are their Snap Shadows. They come apart, they're small, little credit card size. Um, they have, um, I believe, maybe 10 or 11 different color combinations now. This is the first one I got. It's called True Neutrals, and it's just beautiful. It's a, an easy, it's what I have on my eyes today. It's so easy. I just recently picked this one up, and this one is called Wine, and it goes really nicely with this warmer palette as well. The nice thing about this is you can literally snap them together. So if you're traveling, you can have 12 shadows with you instead of just six. Um, beautiful. There's tons of, of colors in this range. These are so easy to blend. They are pigmented. They have pastels all the way to neutrals. Portable, great size, $25 for one palette. But if you buy two at the same time, it's $45 for two. Highly, highly recommend. Easy and fun to play with. So great from Fenty Beauty. Eyeshadow. Let's, I'm gonna talk about two. This one from Marc Jacobs that I've been using. This is the At Lashed Lengthening and Curling. This is what the wand looks like. This is a beautiful mascara. I really like it. It's, a, it's I've, I'm almost done with this mascara. It's $27. It is definitely lengthening. It doesn't clump up and I just love it. But my newest, newest love for mascara is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Push Up Lashes. This is a really unique wand, I'll show you. It has like a comb, if you can see that. And so it combs through your lashes as it's putting the mascara on. That's what I have on today. And so you don't have any clumps. That's a big deal for me. I hate clumps all in my, in my um, lashes. So this is great and I really am loving this. This is $29, okay. So let's talk lips. I could go on and on about lips, but for lip pencils, I'm gonna direct you to my new favorite um, find, which is not new at all, but it's the Makeup Forever. They're artist color pencils. You can actually use these for your eyes, for your lips, and for your brows. They're $18. Two shades that I would highly recommend. This one is called Endless Cacao, and it is just a contour shade. It is just a shadow but it helps, that's what I have on today. It helps to give your lips a little bit more shape and kind of build them up a little bit. The other one I love is called Wherever Walnut and it is a little bit pinkier, but it is also a neutral shade. I love both of these, they're easy. They really help with the um, keeping your lipstick or lip gloss or whatever where it's supposed to stay and they just do a beautiful job lining your lips, so I highly recommend these Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencils. Okay, today I have on one of my very favorite nude lipsticks, which is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's in the Hot, Hot Lips collection, and this one is called JK Magic. I've talked about this before. It's what I have on today. It's gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous, warm, pinky nude. I love it. If you want a little bit more on the cooler side, this one is Dance Floor Princess, one of my very favorites. Gorgeous. Great formula on these. These are $34. The cases are so beautiful. Um, and they're just incredible lipsticks. They don't last on your lips for a huge amount of time, but they are very hydrating, nourishing, and wonderful. You just can't go wrong with Charlotte Tilbury when it comes to lips, but these are two of my favorites for kind of nude shades that I reach for all the time. Um, another favorite for me, YSL does lip products so, so well. If you like more of like a lip balm feel on your lips and you want it a little bit sheerer, 
Um, I highly recommend the Rouge Volupté Shine Lipstick. This one is in, um, I believe it's shade 44, Nude Lavalier. It's just the prettiest little nude pink lip. These are $38. They're beautiful. They, they smell good, kind of like a coconutty smell. They feel good and they just give you a nice hint of color without being too much. So I would hide, if you've never tried one of these, these are really, really good. I also want to talk about the NARS lipsticks, another great formula, one of my very favorites. This is in their Audacious lipstick and this is Raquel. Again, a nice peachy pink. Um, I love this formula and I also love the regular lipsticks. This one is in, I believe this is Dolce Vita, which is a really pretty color for fall. This is sheerer than you would think. It's not actually that dark. It's really a pretty, pretty formula. And then this is one of my favorites. This is Chelsea Girls. Again, it's sheerer, but really a beautiful, beautiful lipstick. Okay, so let's talk about lip gloss. Love lip gloss. I have never found a better lip gloss than the Pat McGrath lip gloss. I love them. I have lots of shades. They are opaque. They are not plumping. They are just creamy and go on so beautifully. Right now I have on this shade, which is one of my very favorites. It's called Peach Perversion. I love it. Each of these is $28. And this is another beautiful one that's called um, Petal, something Petal. I can't read it, sorry. Um, it's gorgeous and very opaque. You don't need anything else with it. This, um, this one I recently got the summer. It goes with that Natasha Denona bronze palette. Oh my goodness. I have to swatch this one for you because it's just so pretty. It has kind of a duochrome effect on it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And you can put it on over a lipstick or by itself. Um, Pat McGrath also has a lot of little sets of the lip glosses and I highly recommend those because they are really nice um, colors, some of the best colors, and you get a, a really nice amount of the product. So I love these. I'm not sure how much these sets are, but they're great. And I love, if you haven't tried a Pat McGrath lip gloss, try one. They're fabulous. Lastly, setting spray. My new favorite setting spray is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the new Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I don't have the price on that right next to me, but I will, again, put it in the description box. It is just beautiful at keeping your makeup where it's supposed to be and making it last even longer. I love this stuff. It has a very, very light scent, but it's not overwhelming. It's beautiful. It is not as harsh as the Urban Decay All Nighter, which is also great, but I really love this for setting my makeup, keeping everything in place, giving a little bit of hydration, but it's not oh, not over the top. So that is another huge recommendation. This is a mini, but I have the bigger size too. I'm just going to save this one for travel. Okay. I think I covered it a lot. Um, I did not cover everything by any stretch, but I love the sale. It's always fun. And I hope that I gave you some ideas of some things that you should look into. Um, again, the sale starts for the Rouge members tomorrow, October 30th, and which probably is today when I post this. But um, go ahead and look online. I think I will do an IGTV video on what my wish list is because clearly I have all of these products and so I'm not purchasing any of these. But um, I do, of course, have my own list, uh, wish list of products. So I will do that on IGTV, so you can check that out on my Instagram channel, KZ Beauty Coach. Hope you all are doing great. Hope you have fun. Let me know what you get in the sale. I'd love to know what you love the most.